Yo what's going on guys then my first simple snippets and welcome back to a new video tutorial on the network security or information security which is basically one and the same thing and in this playlist we've been talking about different types of cryptographic techniques different type of algorithms and so on and so forth so this is sort of like the 10th or 11th video in this entire playlist so if you're new on this channel and if you have missed any previous videos you can check out this entire playlist i'll link that in the video description and you can also see a card Anyways, this is a very short video wherein I just want to theoretically discuss about two things that is algorithm types and the algorithm modes in which the cryptographic algorithms operate. Okay, so this is a very short video. It's just theory. And if you already know about them, you can skip this video and move on to the next video in this playlist. So with that being said, let's start off with algorithm types. So up until now, if you've been following this tutorial series or tutorial playlist, we've seen quite a lot of cryptographic techniques like Wernham cipher, Hill cipher, Caesar cipher and so on and so forth. So basically these algorithms depending upon how they get encrypted and decrypted can be categorized into two types. So the two types are stream cipher and block cipher. So as the name suggests, stream ciphers involve the encryption of one plain text per bit at a time. Okay. So let's say the plain text is hello. So the stream cipher will encrypt H separately, E separately, L separately. Again, L separately and O separately to something random over here. Okay. So some random text is going to be acquired after the encryption, depending upon what algorithm we're using. And this is basically how stream ciphers work. Okay. So this, as I mentioned, happens one bit at a time or one byte at a time, depending upon the architecture of the system. And conversely, block cipher, as the name suggests, involves encryption of one block of text at a time. Okay. So let's say the text is hello or let's say the text is hello world. What happens in block cipher is a complete block of words. Let's say these three words will be encrypted to a new complete block of words. Similarly, then the next three words will be taken. These three words, then next three words and then remaining words. So this is how block ciphers work. They basically encrypt one complete block. That is a complete set of alphabets at a time or a complete set of bits at a time. And similarly, decryption also takes place in the same way. That is the entire block is decrypted back to the original plain text from the cipher text. So these block ciphers usually are like 64 bit ciphers or more than 64 bit depending upon how advanced the algorithm is because more the number of bits, more the number of complexity and it is more difficult to crack or it is more difficult for hackers to get the plain text back from the cipher text. So this was a very basic difference between stream cipher and block cipher. As the name suggests, it's very basic, right? Stream cipher basically encrypts one bit at a time and it works on single bits in the digital encryption system and in block cipher the cipher technique works on encrypting one complete block which is basically of a fixed size so let's say 64 bits so 64 bits at a time will be completely encrypted to 64 bits of cipher text and then the block will move to the next part of the plain text if the size of the entire plain text is more than 64 bits and the decryption also takes place vice versa that is block by block okay so very basic right this is how algorithms can be categorized depending upon how the cipher technique works now moving on to the algorithm modes now this topic is a little important because depending upon one of the different type of modes we will be seeing a lot of further algorithms encryption and decryption algorithms which are actually used in real world scenarios okay so up until now what we've seen is very basic cipher techniques which are not really used in actual encryption and decryption in the real world because they, they can be easily hacked or cracked but the new algorithms that we are going to be studying after this and in further video tutorials are pretty strong algorithms which are still used in real world scenarios so coming back to algorithm modes the algorithm mode is a combination of series of basic algorithm steps so basically these modes are essentially some algorithm steps which operate on block ciphers and some kind of feedback from the previous step so this particularly only applies to where feedback is involved but then basically modes is basically the step-by-step -step algorithm that is followed in the encryption and decryption process so a mode of operation basically describes how to repeatedly apply a cipher single block operation to securely transform amounts of data larger than a block okay so let's say your plain text is very large okay and your block of cipher that is going to apply on a particular block is small Let's say your entire plain text is around 128 bits and your cipher is going to only operate on 64 bits at a time. So it's a block cipher 
basically all these algorithm modes apply on block ciphers only internally they might be applying in terms of stream cipher that is they might be up first taking one block and then they might apply some encryption bit by bit but essentially they apply only on block ciphers or block level cipher techniques but what happens is let's see your plain text is 128 bit and the block size is defined as 64 bit so the first block will apply some operation that is some steps that is what the algorithm mode will define depending upon is it electronic code block or is it cipher block chaining or is it cipher feedback so depending upon what type of mode we are selecting some set of algorithms or some set of steps will be applied to the first block so let me just draw one block over here so this is number one this is number two this is 64 bit and this is 64 bit so depending upon either of these five algorithms some steps will be applied to this and then some steps will be applied to this right so this is what those algorithm modes will define and depending upon what mode we are using let's say it is some kind of feedback mechanism so in feedback what happens is whatever output we get from first block is supplied as a feedback to the second block and it helps in encryption in the second block and then for the second block is supplied to the third and so on and so forth so this is where that feedback mechanism comes into picture and this totally depends upon what kind of mode we are selecting now i'm not going to get into very detail of each and every type of algorithm mode because i'm going to create individual videos for each of these algorithm modes because if i try to explain everything in one video it will be very lengthy and very boring so what i'll do is i'll create individual video for all these five modes so the five modes as you can see on the screen are electronic code block which is probably the easiest one then we have cipher block chaining then we have cipher feedback output feedback and counter mode so yeah, we will be studying these five modes individually in very detail with proper diagram and explanation so that will be very clear right now i don't want to get into that detail but just wanted to discuss about the algorithm types and algorithm modes so yeah that's it for this video guys as i mentioned this was a very short video theoretical video on algorithm types and algorithm modes in further video tutorials we'll see the individual algorithm modes in more detail so if you are new on this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video under this network security playlist and that's it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace